Okay, so this is day five of that wash and set, wash and work that I did the other day. Uh, I just wanted to share some information or my thoughts on my recent wash and go or wash and wet set. Someone made the comment about diffusing. <clears throat> um, they felt like it was just a bit too much. Ain't nobody got time to be doing all that and then turn around and start diffusing the hair. And I, I can understand that. I totally, I get where you're coming from with that one. Quite frankly, the entire process only took an hour. Um, that includes shingling the product in and diffusing. For me, the issue was putting all that product in my hair. Now, it's not going to kill me or kill my hair to do it, but after it's all said and done, once you start manipulating, when I started to manipulate the waves and the curls and coils, that's when the product started separating and kind of flaking. And, you know, it's just a lot, it's just dirt. You know what I mean? So, and then the diffusing process was relatively fast compared to putting the product in, you know. So it wasn't 50-50. It was more like 60-40 or 70-30 with diffusing being the shorter time. So having said all that, I'll probably not revisit the whole wash and go, so-called wash and go thing again. However, I have found a, another, a, really a go-to way that I'll probably be doing my hair so that I can have the definition if I want to wear length and definition. I followed to the T. Well, let's just say I followed the process to the T. Natural natural 85s. Beach curls. Easy beach curls process. I'm not doing a tutorial because she does the perfect tutorial. If you want to check it out, click here um, and the reason why I like it is because now number one okay this is my hair this is like day four or five of wearing my hair after doing that process okay and it was so fast so quick and simple and easy I was like hey I can do this this is a product of just eight twists that was stretched out that's ultimately that's all it was and um, four on each side okay my hair now is shrunk a little bit and it's poofy which I do like poof you know the bigger the better but I also want to keep some length so that's really um, the main thing right now it's very humid and hell it's almost like a hundred degrees outside I don't know it's just hot why I decided to start wearing my hair down when it's hot as what I have no idea but that's what I did, and so um, I haven't been out in the elements like just constantly, but I've been, you know, my hair has been exposed to it, so this is what I got. And I think, quite frankly, not bad for day four or five hair. I mean, I've got my Janet Jackson going. Anyway, so I was about to go ahead and... Um, wash my hair and I'm like let me step on and show them what I have I mean this is like still definition in fact let me show you right quick what I do at night to keep the stretch and to keep you know you know how you had just so many I don't know I have so many different routines depending on how I want the hair to look and this is literally all I did. Like I did moisturize. I would put like a leave my leave in spritz. And then I would put some gel in the palms of my hands and just twist my hair like this. And make two band two knots or whatever you want to call it. I was just so surprised that the definition stayed after I handled my hair so not so nice but this is what I have been doing and then I would pin it and put on a satin scarf and call it a day and I would do one on each side and then the next day take it down do all that and then just throw it up and I'm done 
So I think this would be my go-to. It's just so the process is simple and easy. I did not use any products. Look at her um, tutorial. I, the difference between her, what she did and what I did is I use my own, you know, I have a trilogy. And if you want to see my trilogy of products that I created, you just click here. Okay. But I use the anchor, the third piece, the third powerhouse piece of my trilogy, which is my oil mix. I use my own oil mix. She used hers. And... I think that's really the only difference. That's the only difference. But I did not put any gel or anything. I did exactly how she said. Oh, and I used my own um, conditioners. She has a certain kind she used, and I used the kind that I use, which I'll, you know, show you guys in a different video. All right. Well, anyway, just if you try this, just let me know what you think. It's just it's very similar to her winter wash and go routine. I'm like, why even bother doing anything else when you can just do this? It take you a few minutes in the shower and you're done. And one more thing, people. I don't wake up with length unless I do the needful and do stretching. Uh, routines or a stretching process overnight if you want to see how my hair looks when it is not stretched or see the difference between my stretched hair and my shrunken hair click here to check out my video so you know that anybody can do the same thing if they want to wear length you can do the same exact thing okay because I have some people who see me every day they see my hair in different ways, but they swear up and down that they can't get their hair the same way. And I'm like, we have the same length. I could, I'm looking at their hair. I could tell that if they did, you know, did a stretching process, it would be the same. But for some reason, people are convinced that they can't can't manipulate their hair. Like, you know, I I don't, I don't understand it. But anyway, just check out the video. And then check out other videos and, and make it happen. All right. Talk to you guys later. Smooches. And stay cool.